Question eight, harden, near, enrage, jostle, missing word, maiden. So the three words in the second group should go together in the same way as the three in the first group. And we need to find the word that is missing in the second group. So the best way to go about this is by writing the first word from the second group of words above the first word from the first group of words. So writing jostle above harden. And then you should write the last word in the second group of words above the last word in the first group of words. So you should write maiden above enrage. By doing this, you can see clearly and easily which letter from the first group of words corresponds to which letter in the second group of words. So now we can look at the word near. So it starts with an N. There's an N at the end of harden and that corresponds to the E at the end of jostle. There's an N in enrage, which corresponds to the A in maiden. So our missing word starts with either the letter E or A. Moving on to the second letter of near, so there's an E. There's an E in harden, and that corresponds to the letter L in jostle. There's an E at the beginning of enrage, which corresponds to the letter M of maiden. And there's a letter E at the end of enrage, which corresponds to the letter N in maiden. So the second letter of our missing word is going to be either an L, an M or an N. Now looking at the third letter in near, so it's an A. So there's an A in Harden that corresponds to the O in Jostle. And there's an A in Enrage, which corresponds to the D in Maiden. So our third letter is either an O or a D. Moving on to the last letter of Nia, so it's an R. There's an R in Harden, which corresponds to the letter S. And there's an R in Enrage, which corresponds to the letter I. So our missing word ends in either an S or an I. So we know that our word begins with an E or an A. So out of the possible answers, we can rule out toil. We know that the third letter has to be an O or a D, which means we can rule out elms because that has M as its third letter. We can rule out arms because that has M as the third letter. And we can rule out ants because that's got a T as the third letter which means we are left with the word ends. And so that has to be the correct answer. And we can just check that quickly, looking at the letters we have for the missing word. So we have an E, we have an N, we have a D and we have an S. So this just confirms that we've definitely got the correct answer. And now all you need to do is mark your answer clearly on the answer sheet with a horizontal line next to the word ends.